And now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. A beautiful image for us today. We had some amazing sunset pictures. We had some amazing sunrise pictures. We have been enjoying the clouds that have been here and I'm hoping you've been enjoying the cooler temperatures today with the showers that came with it because Saturday and Sunday are going to be very similar to today with maybe even tomorrow being a bit more rainy than we saw today. Here's a look at your travel conditions and I always keep an eye on these, especially when we're expecting some mountain snow. We could see Saturday night and Sunday snow on the Cascades. We're looking at a possibility of having some accumulation starting Saturday night into Sunday. I'll show you that on your future track. Here's where we're at tonight with our satellite and radar image. Very similar to last night where we had the showers coming through and we started to see things clearing up. We're clearing up a little sooner tonight than we did last night, but the showers start earlier tomorrow than they did today. Another thing that's going to be sim similar for us tomorrow from today is the cooler temperatures. We barely made it into the mid 50s as the system came through much cooler than yesterday. We actually made it to 80 in Redmond and we barely made it into those mid upper 50s. Winds were much calmer today than yesterday, but we could see these pick back up again with this next system that's coming in. In our upper levels, we've had a more calm day today, a flow that didn't bring in quite as much of that rain. But as we're dropping into tomorrow, this starts to come down just a bit. We start to see this cooler air and that helps our temperatures stay on the cool side. Then into Sunday, it shifts and drops just a bit more. That low pressure center finally starting to move down out of the Gulf of Alaska. As we go into Sunday, we should start to see this clear out and temperatures begin to warm up. What this all looks like and how it plays out on our future track is last night we were looking at this being dry by 10 o'clock tonight. Like I mentioned, just a bit earlier, but you will notice yesterday we got, we watched this, we got till around noon today before we started seeing showers. Now it's 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. At this point, we have breaks. You can see there was a bit of one there, but it starts to come in and does not clear up. We're all the way into the afternoon at 3 o'clock. That continues through. By the time we get to the evening, we start to make that shift. Our snow levels drop and you can see that right through here. Then we have a little of the sky and we have snow on the Cascades with some mix. As far as the Cascades go, we could see about three to five Saturday night and two to four on Sunday. Not anticipating much accumulation if anything falls in our higher elevations. Temperatures are still just going to be a bit too warm. Here's where we are right now with our temperatures across the region overnight tonight. Although we are going to be cooler than last night, we will be right at average. In fact, Redmond should be about 40 this time of year and you can see here that's right where we are supposed to be tonight. Tomorrow will be another cool day for us. Our temperatures will be in those mid to 50s to mid 60s this time with the chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon again. If you remember we talked about that a bit yesterday. We continue with that chance for showers on Sunday. Monday you'll see we start to warm up again. We see a bit of sun in there and then we continue to warm up and see more sun by the time we get to midweek next week.